As part of this session, we would learn how to run Spark on the cluster. Let us try to understand the architecture of Spark or what goes on inside when we execute something on Spark. As we understand that Spark is all about distributed or parallel computing, meaning utilizing many computers or processors in order to accomplish humongous tasks. At the core of Spark, it is a master-slave architecture made of two kinds of nodes, driver and worker. There is only one driver and workers are many. While workers execute the workload, the driver launches the workload and coordinates between the user and the workers. The user interacts with the driver. The driver interacts with individual workers. The Spark driver is the process where main method of your Spark program runs. When you launch a Spark shell, you have created a driver program which is running locally. Once the driver terminates, the application is finished. Meaning, the driver remains for the lifetime of the application. While running, the driver first converts a user's program into tasks by the way of two steps. First, it converts a user's program into DAG or DAG of transformations and actions. And then, it converts DAG, the local graph, into a physical execution plan. The second task the driver performs is scheduling tasks on executors. What does scheduling tasks on executors involve? Scheduling involves coordinating the execution of individual tasks on executors. The driver schedules tasks based on data placement, tracks cached data and uses it to schedule future tasks. The driver also runs Spark web interface at the port beginning with 4040. Spark utilizes these existing resource managers in order to execute workload. In case you do not have any resource managers, Spark comes with its own resource manager. We call it standalone. Spark is agnostic to the underlying cluster manager. As long as Spark can acquire executor processes and these processes can communicate with each other, Spark can run on it. It is easy to run Spark even on a cluster manager such as Mesos and Yarn that also support other applications. The cluster manager is a pluggable component in Spark to make Spark talk to any resource manager. Spark applications run as independent sets of processes on a cluster coordinated by Spark context object in your main program called the driver program. Specifically, to run on a cluster, the Spark context can connect to several types of cluster managers, either Spark's own standalone cluster manager, Mesos or Yarn, which allocate resources across applications. Once connected, Spark acquires executors on the nodes in the cluster, which are processes that run computations and store data 
for your application. Next, it sends your application code defined by JAR or Python files passed to Spark context to the executors. Executors are the worker processes that run tasks of a job. Once finished, executors return result back to the driver. Executors are launched once at the beginning of a Spark application. Executors run for the entire lifetime of an application. Executors also provide in-memory storage for cached RDD using something called Block Manager. Finally, Spark Context sends tasks to the executors to run. Each application gets its own executor processes which stay up for the duration of the whole application and run tasks in multiple threads. This has the benefit of isolating applications from each other on both scheduling side and executor side. Each driver schedules its own tasks and tasks from different applications run in different JVMs. However, it also means that the data cannot be shared across different Spark applications without writing it to an external storage system. The driver program must listen for and accept incoming connections from its executors throughout its lifetime. As such, the driver program must be network addressable from worker nodes. Inside task, the Spark application is executed. The Spark application or the task does the actual work of executing various workloads and maintaining RDD. If Spark is being run on YARN, task runs inside YARN containers. The Spark application can also run on local machine. If we are running in standalone mode, we will learn about standalone mode soon. The driver application translates user's program into executable tasks and assigns it on each Spark application. It starts the Spark applications. The driver applications can run on the client machine or inside the cluster.